success. But tonight, Night Beats Richard Ray reports police officials say they still will demand some changes next time a big name act plays for free. It was by far the biggest concert crowd the West End has ever seen. Van Halen fans from all over North Texas poured in and clogged the streets. Hazel, we, we made, made it. it! They clawed and climbed their way toward an outdoor stage. Gallons of beer were consumed, and as concert time approached, it got rowdy. Right on time, Van Halen took the stage, fulfilling a free concert promise its lead singer made three years ago when he lost his voice during a show at the Cotton Bowl. But quickly, there were sirens in the music mix. Rolling waves of people literally crushed a number of fans. Three had to be taken to area hospitals. One woman explained how her friend was hurt. She was just pinned in between them. Nobody could move, and she was pinned. She was passed out, pinned between them, her feet off the ground. Dozens of extra tactical officers were pulled in almost at the last moment. There was clearly a fear that it was going to get out of hand. The band played an hour, and then, honoring an agreement with police officials, it quit. That's the most fun I've had in a long time. It was real, and it was honest. From music madness to just plain mess, the consensus seems to be it could have been a lot worse. Dallas police officials say in the future they will insist on knowing the identity of the band well ahead of time for any outdoor permits for concerts. Radio station Q10T uh, kept the identity of Van Halen a secret until last night, and once police realized what kind of crowd they'd be dealing with, they were forced to scramble. Merchants and convention officials had no qualms about it at all. They loved it. Jose Grignan has more than that. Well, Rich, whenever big events take place in our community, there's always excitement, and today was no exception. Some people have accused Dallas of not having much to do in the way of excitement for local residents. But with tens of thousands of people jamming into the West End this afternoon, downtown was full of vitality and life. And that translates into profits for merchants and more tourists for the city. Okay, okay. What I made today, I would have to work two days to make. And this is a reminder to local people there are things to do. It happens we had a major convention in town, and... Uh, they're going to walk away thinking, well, gee whiz, look what's going on in Dallas. There were some complications in traffic, but that happens whenever the president or the queen visits Dallas as well. All in all, this afternoon's free concert appears to have been a resounding success for all those involved. Lead singer Sammy Hagar couldn't sing, so he promised to play for free the next time the band was here. Lost band members have family in Texas. Well, my father was from Texas. I'm, I've got Texas blood in me, so yeah, Texas is real cool, <laughs> I think. Texas may be cool, but for a while, police worried this crowd could get ugly. An ambulance barely got through to get to an injured woman. Some folks had too much to drink and too much to say to police. However, there were only three injuries and three arrests for minor offenses. Uh, we had a few disturbances, but, you know, everything went pretty well. For the most part, police were pleased with the crowd and how it acted, and the crowd was pleased with the show. It was worth coming out here, yeah. even though I almost got wow. killed. Freebies, you know, <laughs> you can't complain. Free to the public, maybe, but the show cost the band close to $100,000 to put on. One band member said that's an expensive price for keeping a promise. Marty Griffin, Texas News 5. Many rock concerts across the country have been marred by violence and injuries, some of them fatal. Police credit today's lack of trouble to some luck and to a crowd control plan. And Texas News 5's Craig Marks shows us how that worked. By concert time, tens of thousands of Van Halen fans have crammed into the West End for the free concert. But it is really scary. Most concert goers, like Alicia Romine, are caught in the crowd side by side, packed like sardines. The people are going to end up getting trampled. I mean, it's getting wild. People not packed in on the pavement climb anything in sight for a better view. Meantime, a couple hundred Dallas police officers and private security patrol inside and outside a barricaded perimeter. Our strategy was to set up a perimeter of officers and uh, try to do everything to ensure the public safety and to keep arrests to a minimum. The perimeter allows police to control the crowd and alcohol consumption. A minimum of arrests frees up police for major emergencies. That's why police made only three arrests despite some fistfights and other disorderly conduct. All the problems that we've had down here has been pretty minor. We've had a, a few people to get intoxicated, but nothing really big. The biggest concern for authorities is how to get inside the crowd in an emergency. But here they successfully rescue a woman with a broken rib after being trampled by the crowd. 
The only thing I would change is I wouldn't have a concert of this size letting out in downtown Dallas during rush hour. City officials say next time they'll ask for a location other than the West End. So next time they won't have to say luck played any part in the success of a free big name concert. Greg Marks, Texas News 5.